Hi. Back on the shop made lead hammer. Uh, this is my progress with the mold. I'm debating whether to leave the block intact since the hole is straight sided and, and lead shrinks on cooling. Um, I would be able to uh, drill a hole in the base here and use a bar to punch the slug out if need be. Uh, I haven't made a uh, a place for a handle since there are a variety of handles that I can uh, either epoxy in or seed in with hot lead. Um, to those of you discussing the toxicity of lead, yeah, I agree. Uh, you can you can handle a relatively new lead casting and come up with gray a gray coating on your hand, which is lead oxides and so on. Uh, nevertheless, I wash my hands. But anyways, uh, I'm debating on having somebody slit this in half and then put alignment pins in, uh, you know, driven through so that the uh, the mating half lines up on the pins. Uh, talking about the, you know, the dangers of having a lead hammer in the shop. You know, the average lead hammer that I see in old time shops is sitting around. It's pretty beat up. Generally, they seem to have a coating of oil. And you know, the truth is, most most oils actually set up and gel a lot like varnish does. So that tends to contain any possibilities, but nobody nobody picks up a hammer and and holds it by the head. Uh, I you know I don't know. I don't have kids; they're not in the house, anyways. And if they were, I'd make them wash their hands after they got out of the shop. You know. I, I, I don't know, I've been using lead all my life, and you know, not not consistently, not all day long. I certainly don't heat the lead pot up to 3,000 degrees so that it's fuming. Uh, that's just stupid, that's a waste of heat. Uh, lead, especially pure lead, melts at a pretty low temperature, down around 450, 500 degrees. And it's certainly not giving off a lot of fumes at that heat level. The uh, I ran across a, a plumber's plumbing shop where they had a a lead pot that was the the cast iron pot was actually a little over four feet in diameter, and and they heated that with uh, something like a well it was a kerosene burner a lot like a weed burner and when they put in lead pipes for sewer and whatnot, that's how they made the joints. I suppose, you know, there's there's some that say the Roman Empire fell because of lead poisoning. I don't know, I don't really buy that, even though they they uh they ran their water through lead lined aqueducts and Yeah, it's a possibility I guess. But since we don't do things like that with wood lead anymore, it's all kind of silly. As soon as they discovered that uh, there was lead toxicity from paint, the lead lead tinted paint disappeared. Uh, the, one of the biggest sources of lead in in uh, the atmosphere of the United States was tetraethyl lead, and I and I do buy that it was hazardous because uh, it it went straight through the. Uh, internal combustion engine and was exhausted into the air and the big money people the uh, the car people and the uh, uh, fuel people all fought to uh, keep making tetraethyl lead and putting it in fuel I don't know lots of debate about everything there's other things that are hazardous in my life.
two, but uh, there you go. I'm I'm not too worried about having a lead hammer in the house, and probably I'll have two. But uh, there you go.